another close call oh my goodness another close call like we was just having serious issues stopping LaShawn McCoy and Tyrod Taylor Mike Gillis Lee for my, my Miami Dolphin back to back like just a back and forth game just a back and forth game like I'm happy we got the dub, but we just can't we just can't be keep on doing this week after week after week. We blew a 14 point lead to the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are one of the worst teams to come back and get a to, to come back and get a dub because they're they're more of a ground and pound team. They're not a great passing team. But the Buffalo Bills literally almost beat us today. So I'm thinking to myself, like Honestly, I can't. As far as defensively on our side, I can't really say. Oh, this uh, they played great. They played absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I will single out uh, uh, Andre Branch, my boy Andre Branch, and uh, that's about the only Andre Branch on the defense. That's the only person I can basically put out in overtime. In overtime, he showed up in overtime, got the job done. Dan Carpenter, the former Miami Dolphin, used to be one of my favorite kickers when he was with the Miami Dolphin. And Miami Dolphins history that I've seen kick got us out the way. Missed that field goal, gave us the opportunity to come back and win the game. Offensively, Jay Ajayi got the job done. Hopefully that shoulder is all right. Two back-to-back games against the Buffalo Bills, 200 yards. You know how hard it is for the Miami Dolphins to come in and beat the Buffalo Bills at home. It's it's just been it's been hard since 2011, the last time we actually won in Buffalo hell of a win hell of a win just come when it comes down to it we just gotta we gotta like I said keep our foot on teams throats going into the second half they should not have the opportunity to come back and win the game which reminds me every single time Damian Williams does something good I'd be like okay I might I might I might like you again but right after that, he turns around and does some stupid, dumb shit and causes up the game. Like, when we got, what was it? Towards the end of the game, I believe it was like the last, probably like 20 seconds left in the in the, in the, in the, in the regulation. He was the one who could have went out of bounds, stopped the clock. We could have possibly, well, it, was, it was like fourth down at like three. We possibly could have took, could have did, did another play or... We could end up taking our time kicking the field goal, regardless of being able to taking our time getting the field goal. But it's the fact that Damian Williams has been doing this dumb shit at week after week after week. Who we have last week? We had the Jets. They did the didn't do that for the Jets because we blew the Jets out. The Cardinals game. He did that in the Cardinals game. We got down inside the five yard line. He could just went down. We could have blew our time out and kicked our field goal. He way he decided he wanted to do all this extra shit and go back and forth. And then co- almost cost us the game to one second left on the in the on, in the game for us to get the game winning t- uh, field goal. So Damian Williams get on my damn nerves. Goodness gracious, he get on my nerves. But Kenyon Drake, I'm happy his snaps are increasing. I'm still starting to see a little bit less of Damian Williams in games. Thank God, cause he fucks shit up. Um, Xavier Howard, kind I wouldn't say he got exposed today, cause Tyrod Taylor was just buying buying a lot of time for. The Buffalo Bills receivers to get open, so I can't really blame Xavier and Howard for the amount of yards he gave up to Sammy Watkins. I'm still proud of how, how the way he played, but our rush defense has got to turn up. Like literally, our rush defense has got to get better. It, it is absolutely terrible. I'm seeing the Dominica Sue get double teamed every single damn play, and Jordan Phillips and Nero Mitchell ain't getting off them single blocks and making that damn tackle. Now our linebackers, I know we're I know we're hurting that, that linebacker spot, but for real, we got to in the off season. I'm getting ahead of myself. We got to find some better line. Linebackers, but all around playoff hopes are all still alive. Still that six seed. Um, just gotta hope for Denver to lose tomorrow against the Oakland Raiders and whew, New England next week at home. New England next week at home. Can't wait. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Oh, yeah, the shout outs. I almost forgot all about the shout outs. Y'all should have reminded me. Y'all should have reminded me. Not, not very many this week. Uh, Kinsley, Valcine, Justin Warner, Kale Bush, Eminem, Connor Mann, HGZR13. Let me know if you let me know if I missed anybody else that is new. You know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One Devore. The Miami Dolphins are 10 and 5. I'm up out of here. <laughs>